It's arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and Puckett says, Sean purchased a t-shirt for $12.60. If this included 5% in sales tax, what was the actual price of the shirt? So in order to solve this one, we're going to use this formula here. The total price of the shirt is the price that includes the sales tax is going to be equal to the original price of the shirt plus the original price of the shirt times the tax amount. In this case, we know that the total price of the shirt is 1260. So this becomes 1260 equals, we don't know what the original price of the shirt is. So this is original price plus the original price times the tax amount. We know that sales tax was 5%, which we're gonna express in decimal form as 0.05. So this becomes original price times 0.05. Now, instead of using uh, OP as my letter variable, I'm simply going to use the letter variable X to clean this up a little bit. This becomes 1260 equals X plus X times 0.05. And to make it very obvious as to what's going on here, we could put a one in front of this X and this becomes 1260 equals one X. And what is 0.05 times X? That's 0.05 X. So this one X plus 0.05 X. You should be able to do this part here mentally. What is 1x plus 0.05x? Well, what is 1 plus 0.05? That's going to be 1.05x. Again, we let x be the original price of the shirt. So now all we have to do is solve this equation for x. And I know many of you could have jumped to this step right here. I just wanted to go through the logic as to how we get to this point. All right, so let's go ahead and divide both sides of this equation by 1.05 to get x by itself. This crosses out, leaving you with x on this side. And I'm going to do this division off to the side. This says 1260 divided by 1.05. We can't do division with a decimal outside the division bracket. So in 1.05, I have to move the decimal two times to the right, such that it becomes 105. And at the same time, I have to move the decimal in 1260, a corresponding number of times to the right, such that it becomes 1260. All right, now we can go ahead and do our long division. How many times does 105 go into 126 without going over? That's going to be one time. 105 times 1 is 105. 126 minus 105. Well, 6 minus 5 is going to be 1. 2 minus nothing is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. And of course, we got to drop down this 0. Uh, what is, how many times does 105 go into 210? Well, you should be able to say that 105 times 2 is exactly 210 with no remainder. So in other words, we know X is going to be 12. In other words, the original price of this shirt where sales tax is not included is D, $12.